In the chapter of the examination of the wise, it says, when a person possesses good qualities, others spontaneously gather around. The fragrant flower may be distant, but bees are drawn like gathering clouds. In Tibetan it says, Yonden dana kya okun matiparya rangi do tede meto jane ya pungar tingi cho shin kor. So, <coughs> it means people will follow the learned person. People will not see whether this learned person is a rich or poor, whether this learned person is a powerful or not. But because of the knowledge, people follow this learned person. So, when there's a very learned and wise person, then all the others are attracted. And all others, they pay great respect to this wise and learned person. And they just gathered around this learned person without calling them or without asking them to come or without any invitation. They just follow this wise and learned person subentaneously because of the knowledge that is possessed by this learned person. For example, in the garden, if there's a fragrant flower, although this flower may be far from the bees, but because of this fragrant, the bees just goes there spontaneously and they are very attracted by the fragrance of the flower. And <clears throat> they just gather together around the flower like clouds. The clouds suddenly gather together in the blue sky. Similarly, the bees gather together around this flower. And likewise, when there's a learned person who put with, with the great qualities, then others just follow, follow this learned person. So, in our life, we have seen <clears throat> many great masters, many learned and wise masters, and People just follow because of their qualities, because of their knowledge. For example, our root guru, His Holiness, the 41st Commentator in which wherever he goes, many people gather together and many people try to receive teachings, try to gain knowledge, by receiving teachings from our root guru without any invitation or without asking them to come or without calling them, they just follow. Our root guru, commentator, wherever he goes, whether it's in Asia or Europe or North America or India, Nepal, wherever he goes, many people 
gather together. And this is because of knowledge. So with this Guru's knowledge is one or Guru's quality is the one that attracts many people. Likewise, there are many learned and great scholars in our time. There are many great gurus. Wherever they go, many followers are following because of their knowledge. So their wisdom, their knowledge attracts many people. So when you attract many people serpentinously, then through this way it gives great opportunity to give them the knowledge to open their mind and to illuminate their vision so that they can also gain more knowledge and they can also receive great benefits from the, the great gurus. So, therefore, knowledge is very, very important. Knowledge is like the wish fulfilling jewel. For example, when people moves from one place to another, they cannot carry all their wealth, they cannot carry their house, they cannot carry their land, but they can carry their own knowledge, their own wisdom. Wherever they go, they are with their knowledge, with their wisdom. And this wisdom can shine. This wisdom can illuminate the darkness of ignorance and can help many people. And also, this knowledge or this wisdom is something that cannot be stilled by thieves or by any force or by any deception. It will remain with oneself. It cannot be taken away from ourselves. And this knowledge, if we can use it in a positive way, then there's no greater chance than this to help and benefit sentient beings. So this knowledge is very important and this knowledge can attract many people and through this can benefit many people. So this is the advice of Sakya Pandita in this verse.